Something different today, we're testing Full Metal Jacket, not JHP's, 380 ACP, 95 grain FMJs from Federal and Winchester using the SimTest Media comparable to ballistic gel. Four layers of denim, test gun is the Bursa Thunder, 380 plus. By posting this video, I am not advocating, repeat, I am not advocating or suggesting that you use Full Metal Jacket for self-defense in this or any other caliber. I'm getting a lot of requests to test Full Metal Jacket and I'm also seeing in the 380JHP test that this load just doesn't penetrate as far as 9mm 40, 45 and others. And that really should be understood because it is a light recoiling load, it is low power compared to these other calibers, it's just something that is convenient to carry because of the size and the size of the handguns and availability of ammo. Another thing, I'm reading in various gun forums that folks are seriously considering carrying full metal jacket in 380 because of the performance that they're seeing in the JHPs. So we're going to try two different bullet styles, the round nose, 95 grain, and then the flat nose. Are we going to see deeper penetration in one versus the other, and also uh, variances in tissue disruption? I've resized my test block to give me a greater frontal area for putting two shots into the same block. Four layers of denim, IWBA standard, 19 inches in length, water jugs for backup. Distance of 10 feet will have the round nose first, followed by the flat nose. Great shot placement for a comparison, but this video may be shorter than what I had planned. I'm surrounded by water. Yeah, you know what happened here. First shot, round nose, complete pass through on the 19 inch block, pass through jug number one, deflected here off of jug number two, went that way. Sometimes I can find these deflected bullets uh, in the vicinity, so we'll see what happens there. Second shot, flat nose, complete pass through on the 19 inch block, pass through jug number one, I'm still checking these other jugs in this immediate area, so let's see if I can find either one of these bullets. I did manage to find one bullet, that is the Winchester flat nose from the second shot that was located in the second water jug after pass through of the block. Never did find the round nose. Looks like it also glanced off the deck railing after it passed through and I'm guessing it's just somewhere on the ground within probably a 15 to 20 foot radius of the deck. I did search but could not find that today. I split this by the way as I was cutting through the media. This is the path from the round nose. As we have a little bit of a stretch cavity here, it's just not as impressive as you would see with the JHP and that is to be expected. I'm not going to go all the way through that because we know what happened. Get down to the flat nose cavity and it looks like that just because of the nature of the way this is designed, it's pushing, uh, pushing this through a little bit more than it was with the round nose up here. But again, it's a pass through and of course the game changer that we don't have that you've got to factor in is bone. How would either of these performed had they hit one or multiple bones uh, either going in or trying to get out? That could have prevented a pass through. It's just something that we don't know with this test. To summarize, compared to jacketed hollow points in 380 ACP, full metal jacket looks like it's going to have a tendency to penetrate deeper. It also appears, unfortunately, that it's going to have a tendency to over penetrate Bone would have been a factor, should have been a factor, and that's going to be the case in any of these tests. It's just an unknown, but it could have prevented pass-throughs on both of these. So we may have learned a little bit today, but we still don't know everything, and that's the nature of ballistic testing. Thanks for watching.